So now we will discuss about cardiovascular system. So the structure and functioning of the heart. So the structure of the heart. So the heart is divided into left and right side by partitions called septa. The inter arterial septum, inter ventricular septum. Inter arterial septum separates the two upper chambers called atria and the inter interventricular septum separates the two lower chambers called ventricles. So the heart consists of four cell layers endocardium, myocardium, epicardium, pericardium. We have uh, already studied in our uh, school days that is uh, in biology or in uh, science about heart. So long back we are studying. So endocardium means it is the inner layer of the heart. Myocardium means uh, it is about heart muscle. That heart consists of heart muscle cells. Epicardium means it is outer layer of the heart. Pericardium means uh, surrounding the heart. So heart chambers and uh, valves. So four chambers we know right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle. The four heart values are named tricuspid valve, pulmonary valve, mitral valve, aortic valve. So tricuspid valve means located between right atrium and ventricle. Pulmonary valve, valve uh, that is between right ventricle and pulmonary artery. Mitral valve located between left atrium and ventricle. Aortic valve it is located between the artery and the ventricle. The main function of the heart is to circulate the uh, blood around the body. So the right side pumps deoxygenated blood into the pulmonary circulation and the right atrium receives deoxygenated blood from the body tissues and the blood enters the right atrium which pumps the blood into the right ventricle. So the tricuspid valve prevents the blood from flowing backward into the right atrium. Pulmonary artery will deliver the deoxygenated blood to the lungs. So the oxygen is taken from the air into the blood while carbon dioxide is expelled from the blood into the air. So the oxygenated blood returns to the left side of the heart via the pulmonary veins. So the left artery pumps blood into the left ventricle and the left ventricle pumps the blood into the aorta and semantic circulation. So arteries versus veins. So the blood vessels that carry blood away from heart is called arteries and towards the heart is called veins. So this is the uh, basic diagram of arteries and veins. Contraction of the heart. So the contraction of the muscular valve of the heart chambers is called myocardium. So here uh, there are two phases that is systole and diastole. So the blood is pumped from the chambers during the contraction phase and the heart chambers are filled with blood during the relaxation phase. This is the cardiac cycle. So here uh, the diagram for the heart is given that is uh, diastole and systole that is ventricular relaxation and filling. Systole means ventricular contraction and ejection. So here we can see left ventricle, uh, left ventricle, inferior vena cava, uh, left atrium, right atrium, pulmonary veins, pulmonary artery, iota, superior vena cava. Con conduction system of the heart. Here we can see the ECG waveforms. That is, first is Purkinje uh, fiber. Uh, that is, uh, first is the an electric impulse uh, travels from the signed sinoatrial node to the walls of the atria causing them to contract. So next is the, the impulse reaches the atrioventricular node which delays it by about 0.1 second. So here in the diagram you can see atrioventricular node. Next is the, the bundle branches carry signals from the atrioventricular node to the heart apex. Next is signal spreads through the ventricular walls causing them to contract. This is the contraction system of the heart. This is the ECG waves and what they mean is, so P wave, PQRST wave. So here P wave uh, uh, symbolizes that a depolarization of arteria in response to uh, SA node triggering and uh, PR interval is the delay of AB node to allow filling of ventricles. QRS means uh, depolarization of ventricles triggers main pumping contractions. Uh, T wave means ventricular repolarization and uh, ST is beginning of ventricular repolarization should be flat. So next is the blood pressure. So blood pressure is uh, we all, all know about blood pressure. So blood pressure is the pressure exerted by the uh, circulating blood against the walls of the arteries. So the maximum is systolic and uh, minimum is diastolic. One, uh, normally 120 or 80 mm Hg will be there. 
so above this is considered as high and uh, uh, that is known as hypertension so the blood pressure is less than means hypotension that is below pressure that is low pressure thank you